I thought we were gonna find him. I thought we were too. <sighs> Just out. You want some hot chocolate? You want to sit next to the fire? My nerves are just shot, dude. Like, I'm just... Just let me go pee real quick and... Yo, I have no clue. We literally were searching for hours. I think Gus is being selfish, but my mind doesn't want me to think he's being selfish, if that makes sense. I just want him to know that I love him, and I'll do anything I can to help him. It's just scary. Like, it is scary. I'm, like, freaking thing. out. He's I'm, like, like shaking. Too, and he's half naked. I don't know. I'll make everybody some hot chocolate whiskeys, y'all. I just need, I need to do something so I can calm my nerves. This is serious, serious. Like, Gus could have been eaten by something. He might have hitchhiked a ride to Canada. We don't know what might have happened to him. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey. All right. Hey. So, you know, we're out here in Montana. We're filming a TV show. But when our executive producer walks up, I'm like, I'll be So here's what's going on. All these guys have been out on foot all day looking with you guys. We were literally just making flyers. Oh, my god. All these guys have been out on foot all day looking with you guys. So here's what's going on. He's fine. Production's the one that found him, and he's fine. Thank God. Gus has been found. Oh, thank God. Was he on foot? He was on foot. Crazy He left in one of his back shirtless thongs. things, back thong, no jacket. So he's being checked out medically to make sure he's fine and warm. This is just crazy. If that cold did not us up, I am ready to. I've been up calling around town. Has anyone came in there with like shorts? Our friends missing. We cannot find him, and I'm like freaking out. Trying to find this mug, and I am pissed. He's what? safe. Thank God. That's the best thing. So once we check him out and everything like that, he's gonna have to go back into quarantine and all that to make sure that no one in here is exposed to anything. I am ready to kick Gus in his ass now that he is okay. I have not had a shower all day long. You look a mess. Uh, he has got to get it together. I'll tell you one thing. When he gets his ass back to this house, he will be wearing a bell around his neck because we are not doing this again, ever. Y'all, somebody, we need to talk to him. This is ridiculous. Hello? Yo, Seth, it's Kirk, bro. Hey, what's up, Kirk? We found his dumb ass, bro. God dang. He literally was in the cold weather, half naked. <laughs> Gosh, he was freezing. Why did he not go back? Because you know Gus is stubborn as hell and his pride was in the way. Yeah. This is what a three-year-old does. Well, there's probably something going on bigger than that we see. I guess tell your family and all them that he's straight. All right, appreciate it, Kirk. Maybe he felt bad about the way he talked to Candace and that's why he ran off. Baby. I'm ready for dinner. Neil, so you want us to order you a pizza? Well, I really want to make my homemade Alfredo, if y'all are hungry. You still got the energy for it, absolutely. I wonder where they found him. I know, right? I don't like losing. So I am taking this contest so serious, like my life is depending on it. <laughs> <laughs>